At dawn on July 26, 1944, Allied pilots over France saw something impossible. A German aircraft blazing past them at nearly 900 kilometers per hour. It was the Messerschmitt Mi-262, the world S first operational jet fighter, and it marked the start of the first jet war in human history. Germany had been working on jet engines since the late 1930s, but by 1944, the Luftwaffe was desperate. The Mi-262 entered combat with twin Junkers Jumo 004 turbojets, faster than anything in the sky. Allied propeller aircraft couldn't catch it, couldn't outrun it, and often couldn't even see it coming. Yet speed wasn't everything. The jet engines broke down constantly, needed careful handling, and guzzled fuel Germany no longer had. Adolf Hitler made things worse by insisting the Mi-262 be used as a bomber, delaying its combat debut for months. When it finally arrived in numbers, the Allies were bombing its factories, its runways, even attacking the jets during takeoff when they were slow and vulnerable. In response, Germany formed elite units like Jagdgeschwader 7, the first jet fighter wing in history. Aces such as Walter Nowotny claimed victories but were overwhelmed by the sheer volume of Allied aircraft. By spring 1945, the ME-262 was technologically unmatched, but strategically hopeless. Germany also deployed the Arado R-234, the world's first jet bomber, but it was too few and too late. The Allies, meanwhile, rushed their own jet Britain's Gloucester Meteor into service. It never fought the Mi-262 directly, but it proved that the jet age had arrived on both sides. When World War II ended, the Mi-262 became the blueprint for Cold War jet fighters. The world's air forces scavenged its engines, its swept-wing studies, even its cockpit design. The first jet war lasted only months, but it changed air combat forever. History's lesson? The future can appear suddenly in a streak of fire across the sky, and whoever adapts fastest wins the next war.